So once upon a time, there was a girl, she was 16 years old. She was very carefree, maybe even a little bit rebellious, you know. And at the age of 16, she had to sit for one of the biggest exams, her O-levels. Right? Okay, fine, sat for exam. Then that fateful day came where she had to go collect her results. She walked into her school, but this time it was a little bit different. There was more tension in the air. It was then it dawned on her, right, that that piece of paper is going to change her life. That number on that piece of paper, that result slip, is going to change her fate, it's going to change her life. So with nervous hands, she opened her result slip. Her biggest fears came true. She couldn't get into any JC, she couldn't get into any polytechnics. She was lucky the ITE accepted her. So she took her result slip, didn't say anything to her friends and she walked back home, really slow. Didn't know how to go back home to tell her parents, so she didn't go back home, decided to wait under a block and wait for time to pass trying to muster the courage to go home. She waited until it became late. She knew her parents were going to be worried. She said, I have to go home. So she got up, gave her parents a result slip. And true enough, her parents took the result slip, saw the number on that piece of paper. Her mom just took the slip, just put it on the kitchen table and just walked away. She was just so upset. She went to her room that night and she cried. She ended up going into her ITE. At that time, ITE is not so beautiful as it is today, you know? It was the acronym for It's The End. Only teenagers who didn't have any ambition or would amount to nothing would go to an ITE. But don't worry, there's a happy ending to this story, okay? After she did ITE, she was very much in a place like you. She ended up doing her diploma privately and for once she realised, oh, I actually like studying because I'm doing something that I like. So when I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher. But my parents wanted me to be a doctor, an engineer or something else. Very typical for Indian parents, I think. Doctor or engineer, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sorry to say, but I wasn't cut out for that. I wanted to be a teacher, but I suffered because I didn't listen to myself. Yeah, and I hope that you guys don't have to wait till you're 37 to find your true, true passion. Yeah, and that you can actually take this step and do it now. Okay, this is the matrix that you're in. So how many of you don't know your personality type and don't know where you are heading in your life? Raise your hand. There are unpolished diamond. But don't worry, you only have three steps to go. Okay, how many of you don't know your personality type but know where you are heading in life? The underachiever. Yeah? Two more steps. How many of you are aligned with your personality but don't know where you're heading in your life? You're a talent. How many of you know where you're heading in your life and know your personality type? That's when you become a genius. So you know how many steps you have to take now? You're not that far. So I had someone to help me with my career decisions. I made a lot of mistakes and I hope by listening here today that you can cut short that and actually find your own inner genius quickly and get ahead in your career quicker.